Okay, so this is good, this is promising. We're, we're making progress because these, these are the terms, uh, one, two, and three, that are in the result that I'm trying to prove, so that's promising, but, uh, I'm not done yet, right? There's this extra stuff flying around. For starters, if you look back at um, the result we're trying to prove, I've got 2 pi on 9, I've got 4 pi on 9, I've got 8 pi on 9. There's no uh, 6 pi on 9 term, that's the first issue. And the second issue is, on the left-hand side of what I'm trying to get to, there's a polynomial of degree 6. But I, I don't have a polynomial of degree 6, I have a polynomial of degree 9, right? So I still have some work to do before this result can be considered proven. So to make that work a bit easier and also the rest of my results, what I'm going to do is just introduce a few labels um, because as you can see this is very already getting very long to write. I've got the entire line taken up, okay? So here's some labels that I'm going to introduce. Uh, every time you see cos 2 pi on 9, I'm going to write that as C2, which is just that C is my abbreviation for cos of something pi on 9. This is C2, that would make this C4, that makes this uh, C, that should say C8 actually, which is a bit of an oversight of mine. Let's fix that over there. There we go. Now you'll notice I haven't done that for this, this term in here, C6, I haven't named it that because cos of 6 pi on 9, I can simplify that to cos 2 pi on 3 and that's an exact value that I know. So this accounts for why in the result I'm trying to prove there are no 6 pi on 9 terms because you can just evaluate them, okay? So, now that I've introduced these new labels, C2, C4, and C8, and I'm also going to simplify this, what happens? Well, um, the next line shows you what happens as I simplify out, right? Um, I'm going to leave the left-hand side for a moment, we'll come back to it shortly, but this Z minus 1, nothing's happened to it. Um, I've just substituted this term for C2 right in there. Um, this term I've just written it as C4. You can see how much more concise this is. You've got C8 hanging out on the end here. I wrote it correctly, thankfully in this line, but I want you to pay close attention to what's happening in here. What's, what's going on? Keep on changing this by accident. Oh, I think I changed this whole thing. Let's, uh, that's better. That's why I keep doing that. All right, so let's have a look at what's going on in here. So in this case, what you've got is um, two lots, two lots of cos 6 pi on 9, which we already established is the same as cos 2 pi on 3. That's minus a half, negative a half. So you got minus 2 times minus a half, that's just equal to 1. So this minus 2 cos 6 pi on 9 z, take a breath, that just gives you z. So that's why uh, this term, this expression in here, is equivalent to this expression in here, this factor. Okay? Now, this is really useful to me, right? Because this helps me to do some simplification. Um, these factors here, 1, 2 and 3, they are in the result that I'm trying to prove. So they should stay put, they shouldn't go anywhere, right? But this term in here, let's underline it, z minus 1, and this z squared plus z plus 1, they are nowhere to be seen in this result that I am supposed to be proving. They, they don't belong at all. So somehow I've got to get rid of them and I've also got to change what's happening on the left-hand side. So how do I go about doing that? Well, what I want you to notice is you can actually take this z minus 1 and this z squared plus z plus 1 and you can combine them in a familiar way. This is actually a factorization maybe you recognize because we've used it not that, uh, not that long ago, right? If you multiply z minus 1 by z squared plus z plus 1, this is actually the difference of cubes. So you can see me taking uh, these two terms in here and combining them into z cubed minus 1. If you are not convinced that that is true, just go ahead. Multiply all these terms by z, then multiply them all by minus 1, and then when you collect like terms, convince yourself that you will indeed end up with z cubed minus 1. Okay, now this is really good. We've made progress, but how does this relate to, you know, I, I meant to get this result on the left hand side, which is a polynomial uh, of degree 6, z to the z 6 plus z cubed plus 1. So clearly there's going to have to be some simplification over here. And the clue is what we just did. We just did this factorization here, or we, we expanded actually, expanded, got rid of the brackets, to make this into a difference of cubes. We can do the same thing on the left hand side. This is also a difference of cubes, it just doesn't look like that at the moment. So I would rewrite z to the power of 9 as, thinking about my index laws, it's z cubed cubed. That's z to the power of 9, right? That, take away 1, that's, well, 1 is also 1 cubed. So you can see now beyond the shadow of a doubt, this term here um, from z to the 9 minus 1, this 
is a difference of cubes. So what is the factorization of this going to look like? Well, um, I'm going to have the same kind of factorization that I had over here and here, except instead of z minus 1, it's going to be z cubed minus 1. Instead of z squared, it's going to be z cubed squared, and then instead of z, it's going to be z cubed. That's what I've got here. So that was a lot to take in. Let me just write it slowly. Um, you're going to get out the front z cubed minus 1, and then you're going to get uh, z cubed squared, which is z to the 6, then you're going to get z cubed, and then you're going to get 1. Hopefully that looks familiar. So you can see what I can do here is that uh, this z cubed minus 1 and this z cubed minus 1, clearly I can divide both sides by these things and it will cancel. And that is what lands me with this on the uh, left hand side and then just z to the 6 plus z cubed plus 1 on the left hand side. This is the result I was after. So I'm just going to say that as required. Okay. How are you doing so far? We've had to cover a lot of ground. Um, we've used our, you know, some, some basic trig to explain what's going on in polar form and to um, simplify out you know, some of these terms in here. We've had to do a lot of algebraic sort of gymnastics to get to here. Um, your difference of cubes result is, um, is really important here. And then we end up with this polynomial of a degree six.